What is a slotted waveguide antenna array? A slotted waveguide antenna array is a type of directional antenna commonly used in radar systems, satellite communications, and various other applications where high gain and precise beam control are required. But what exactly makes up a slotted waveguide antenna array? Let's break it down. Firstly, a waveguide is a structure that guides electromagnetic waves from one point to another. It confines the waves within its walls and directs them efficiently. The most common type is the rectangular waveguide, which has a rectangular cross-section. For example, at 10 GHz, we often use the WR90 waveguide, which has specific dimensions to operate effectively at that frequency. The cutoff frequency is the threshold below which a waveguide mode cannot propagate efficiently. The cutoff frequency of a rectangular waveguide is determined by its dimensions. For the WR90 waveguide, which has a width of 20 to 0.86 mm and a height of 10.16 mm, the cutoff frequency can be calculated using the formula. For the dominant T10 mode, M equals 1 and N equals 0, the cutoff frequency is 6.56 GHz. Thus, the cutoff frequency of the WR90 waveguide is approximately 6.56 GHz. How does a slotted waveguide work? In a slotted waveguide antenna, slots are cut into the waveguide surface. These slots act as radiating elements. When the electromagnetic wave travels through the waveguide, energy leaks out of these slots, generating a radiation pattern. The size, shape, and position of the slots are carefully designed to control the direction and strength of the emitted signal. Slotted waveguide antennas come in various types, each designed for specific applications and performance requirements. The main types include Longitudinal shunt slots. In such designs, slots are cut along the length of the broad wall of the waveguide. They radiate perpendicularly to the waveguide's broad wall. These antennas commonly used in radar and communication systems. Transverse series slots. In such antennas, slots are cut across the narrow wall of the waveguide. They radiate parallel to the waveguide's narrow wall. These antennas are suitable for applications requiring a broadside radiation pattern. Inclined slots. In such designs, slots are cut at an angle to the waveguide's broad wall. Moreover, the angle of inclination helps control the beam direction and polarization. These antennas are used in applications where beam steering is required. Broad wall slots. Slots are cut in the broad wall but can be inclined or transverse. These slots provide flexibility in design for specific radiation patterns and polarization characteristics. Slotted waveguide antennas offer several advantages. Slotted waveguide antennas are widely used in radar systems, satellite communications, and wireless communications. In this tutorial, we will design two slotted waveguide antennas, which first one has four longitudinal shunt slots and second one has eight longitudinal shunt slots. Design considerations. Designing a slotted waveguide antenna involves several key parameters. Frequency of operation. This determines the waveguide dimensions. For this tutorial, at 10 GHz, we will use a WR90 waveguide with a width of 20 to 0.86 mm and a height of 10.16 mm. In our designs, and determine the number of slots on the waveguide surface, this parameter has effect on antenna gain. Slot dimensions. Slots are typically half a wavelength long for maximum radiation efficiency. At 10 GHz, this would be around 15 mm. In the R designs, we will use the optimized dimensions. Slot placement and spacing. Slots are usually spaced half a wavelength apart to ensure proper phasing and efficient radiation. Offset from centerline. Slots are slightly offset from the waveguide's centerline to excite the correct mode and maximize radiation efficiency. In this slide, the optimized design parameters for designs number 1 and number 2 are provided. Now that we have a solid understanding of the theory behind slotted waveguide antennas, it's time to move on to the practical side. Let's fire up CST Studio Suite and design a slotted waveguide antenna array for a specific frequency. Open CST and select New Project. Select Microwave and RF, Optical from the Template Options. Select Antennas, 
Choose Waveguide. Now choose Frequency Domain Solver for this analysis. Click on Next. Set the frequency range from 9 GHz to 11 GHz to cover our frequency of interest. After that, press Next. Press Finish to create the project. As a first step, we will add the structural parameters to the parameter list section. Wall thicknesses in rectangular waveguides are assumed to be 0.3 mm. Go to Modeling, select Brick, and then press ESC to see the dialog box. Create a rectangular shape as shown here. Now, create a rectangular shape with the same dimensions with WR90 waveguides using modeling and bricks. The waveguide should now be selected, and it should be subtracted from solid 1.
Now create some solids that will serve as slots. The first step is to create a slot on the right side of the waveguide central line. Then, on the left of the central waveguide line, create the second slot in the same process. Along the waveguide length, these slots should be repeated. To do that, make sure both slots are selected. Choose Transform from the Modeling menu. Fill in the space blank in front of Y with a parameter 2 times S, which equals the distance between two slots in one direction. When you put repeating numbers as shown here, selected components will copy along the Y axis. To subtract the slots from the waveguide component, select waveguide and press the subtract button. Now, select all slots created and press enter. Our first design will be a slotted waveguide antenna width for slots. Hence, 
Go to the parameter list and select for it in front of parameter in. Then, by pressing the S key on your keyboard, select the end surface of the waveguide. Next, click on simulation in the top menu, from there, define a waveguide port. Before starting the simulation, we should define some frequency specifications to see radiation patterns F far field, E field, H field, and surface current. Go to the field monitor, then active the button of far field, RCS and define another settings like me. To set up the solver, go to simulation and click set up solver, run the simulation by clicking start. After finishing the simulation, Go to navigation tree and open the 1D result and CS parameters folder. Here, you can see the return loss for antenna. Moreover, all data for farfield analysis of this structure can be found in the farfield folder. To see farfield radiation patterns, select the frequency point of 10 GHz. Now, you can see the 3D radiation pattern at 10 GHz. Since the polarization of this antenna is linear, press the linear directional button in the setting. Through far field plot menu, we can see all details for radiation pattern. Also, you can see the port modes E, field, H field, and surface current in here. In the next step, we're going to design the second slotted waveguide antenna with 8 slots. Using design parameters for design 2, we update the parameter list.
Now, go to Setup Solver and start simulation for Design 2. When the simulation is finished, the return loss for the antenna can be seen by clicking on the S parameters folder. Go to the Farfield folder and select the 10 GHz frequency point to see Farfield radiation patterns. You can now see the 3D radiation pattern at 10 GHz. And also, you can see the port mode, E field, H field, and surface current here. Thanks for watching. In this tutorial, we explored the design of slotted waveguide antennas using CST. We covered the theoretical background, step by step design process, and performance analysis. Now you have the knowledge to create your own slotted waveguide antenna and can apply these techniques to various other projects. Your feedback is important to us. Let us know your thoughts or any questions in the comments section below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tutorials and updates on cutting-edge antenna design and simulation techniques.